Season 3 has given us a brand new battle rifle and it's definitely worth the grind. In this video we'll be going through step by step on how to turn the Cronin from looking like this to this as quickly as possible. No messing about, let's get straight to it. So the first thing we'll need to do is unlock the weapon and you'll need to come across the battle pass here and you're presented with this page. If you click down in the bottom left, the view map, then you'll be able to see the much bigger picture and our aim is to get to this one here. Now the first thing I'll mention if you don't know already is this is selected to auto, you want this off. For instance, if you're trying to get to C11 and you're starting at C1, it's going to have you going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so on. So you can all count obviously. So what you're going to do is you're going to waste a lot of tokens. Now originally I went and got the Imperium Sniper first. I've got a video on that so make sure you check that out. It'll be at the end of this video or I'll leave it in the description as well. Ultimately here we want to take the quickest path up to C11 which is clearly C1, C3, C7 and then C11. Moving on to leveling up the weapon and I'm going to recommend two different game modes or two different types. The first one is Invasion which is quite relaxing. You're only shooting bots. It isn't very intense. You can do it at your own pace but it's still very highly effective. It's what I used in the sniper video so if you prefer that method then go check that out. But today I'm going to be focused on the high intent, lots of kills, collect tags, just do everything you can to get that score and that's to be in shipment 24-7. If this is a bit too intense or you get bored of the maps, then the 10v10 mosh pit and the close quarters is also perfect. Now before you jump into the game, you are going to want to put a camo on, just brighten it up, I've gone with green this time. But you do want to check the challenges just in case you can do some of these at the same time. So get kills is fine, double kills you'll get that anyway in a close quarters map. 20 kills from behind so you can kind of focus on this a little bit if you've got that chance to sneak behind someone and get that kill. And obviously 40 mounted kills towards the end. So you might be able to do some of these while leveling up. Obviously don't start mounting from the beginning because they're clearly not going to count. The last thing to mention is the double weapon XP. Make sure you're using one of these especially if you've got them because there isn't going to be that many guns coming out. Pick the one like 30 or 45 minutes because the weapon might be done. Don't over click and add up two hours and it's already done because that's going to be a waste. When it comes to ranking up, I can't stress enough. Make sure you're collecting them tags and playing the objective. As you'll see from this clip here, I hit over 600 XP. I'm not really doing much, just collecting the tags and banking them. That is equivalent to five or six kills. So whether you're at the top of the lobby or the bottom of the lobby, that extra 600 XP is going to go a long way. So the leveling up is complete, it's now time to turn our focus to the challenges. This is the class that I'm going to be using. I've done zero testing, I'm just picking the ones that I know that normally do well and work well together. We're going to use a little bit of recoil control, but our main focus here is aim down sight speed, aim walking speed and sprint to fire. Just everything that we need for shipment, because at the end of the day there is no range and you should be able to control that recoil to a certain degree. We changed the camo, sticking to the green, but we have unlocked ghastly green. So while leveling up, we've got the 50 kills, 15 double kills, 20 kills from behind. The only focus we need is the 40 mounted kills. So we're going to stick in shipment and get this done. A little tip before we jump in is to change the deployable cover. Mount on top of this and it's just going to make you get them better angles. It's just going to be a bit easier. So just switch to that, even if you don't use it too often, it's definitely worth having. The first challenge, Vapor Storm, is obviously nice and easy. Get 50 kills is going to be done by leveling up the gun. There are no problems here. The second challenge, which is Ghastly Green, get 15 double kills, is going to be nice and easy on a map like Shipment. My biggest bit of advice here is Quick Fix. The moment you get one kill, your health's going to regenerate and allow you to take on that second fight. The third challenge, Stone Ridge, which is get 20 kills from behind, is slightly harder than the others, but one that you'll get over time. Shipment will give you loads of chances to run around and shoot people in the back. But if you are struggling, I'd recommend just hiding behind containers, waiting for the enemies to run through and it's an easy shot in the back. Yes, a little bit ratty, but just get the challenges done. The fourth and final challenge, which is intergalactic, get 40 mounted kills isn't exactly difficult, it's just a bit frustrating. But the tip here is to use all the boxes, all the containers, just anything that's going to give you a nice heady and shoot the enemy from that. 
If you are struggling, don't forget to use them deployable covers. These can be mounted anywhere and allow you just to watch off angles. And this is going to be much easier than you think. The basic challenges are completed. It's now time to focus on gold. And as always, gold is get three kills without dying 10 times. Now, I was fortunate enough to get 37 kills in one game for the mounted, which left me with just three remaining, which I managed to get gold in the same game. So I kind of killed two birds with one stone. When it comes to the gold challenge, there's two things that can really help you. The first one is quick fix. Just in case you run into multiple people, that health regen is going to be vital. The second thing is common sense. You don't need to rush, whether it takes you 5 seconds to get 3 kills or 30 seconds, it really doesn't matter. Not only that, if you're on 2 kills, don't go jumping around that corner blind. Don't headlessly run into the middle of the map. You're only going to annoy yourself, frustrate yourself and make this a whole lot harder. But if you are struggling with something like shipment, then I'd recommend you come into close quarters. You're still going to get loads of gunfights, but the map's slightly bigger so you can pick people off. If you're still struggling and not a fan of that, then another option is to come into quick play and play domination or hard point. You might get some bigger maps here where you can pick people off. Next up is the plat challenge and it's arguably the hardest out of the lot of them. 25 long shot kills is a bit of a pain. There are a couple steps you can do to make this easier though. And the first one is to change your loadout. So it's kitted more towards recoil control, aim and stability and damage range. So quickly pause these if you want to copy the tuning. If you want a bit more aim down sight speed, then you could probably add a laser. But ultimately, don't worry about the aim down sight speed. You just need to make sure that recoil pattern is a lot easier to control. The second thing you can do is get yourself into hardcore. It's by far the easiest way to get them long shots. Select domination and hard point and you'll be able to pick people off that are running around or you can fight in long shot battles with other people going for the same challenge. So as you'll be able to see from these clips, it's one or two shots. It can literally be as simple as that. The things that will help you out here though are having that good build with little recoil, but also a site that you feel very comfortable with. The second thing is maps. Now there are a few maps you can get long shots on, but ultimately these six are my personal favorite. When you play in these six maps, you'll be able to get long shots from both spawn locations. So as soon as you spawn in, you'll have a chance to get a long shot. So on to the final challenge and the end is near. This time it's polyatomic with 25 headshots. Not exactly a difficult one. It's just a little bit time consuming, just based on luck really or how good your aim is. For me, we're going back into shipment, close quarters, just them small maps where you're going to get loads of engagements. Try and aim more for the head. Yes, you will die a few more times because you're literally going for the smallest part of the body. But at the end of the day, you're there to do a challenge. Don't get too frustrated. And after a fair few games of shipment, this will be completely done. So here is what you've been working towards, the Orion camo in game. Hopefully this video is going to be able to help you. If it has, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see future videos like this, then make sure you smash that sub button. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.